Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Kyle's Daily Bad Words of Wisdom. I hope everyone's enjoying your Sunday thus far, and I hope these facts enlighten your day and your mind. Feel free to share this video, that is, and facts. Water cooler talk, that is, they say. First off, in addition to being the most fluent president we've ever had, Thomas Jefferson, he spoke English, of course, Greek, Latin, French, Italian, and Spanish. He was also studying Arabic and Welsh, and remains to be the most multilingual president up to date. Said that twice. In 1961, James Morgan, co founder of Domino's Pizza, traded his 50% stock in his company to his brother for a used Volkswagen. Tom went on to sell his stake for $1 billion. That guy's pretty crazy. I mentioned earlier that the co founder, this guy from Domino's, he met his current wife on his first pizza delivery. She answered the door. Kind of funny. Okay. I keep on showing you stuff and it just doesn't show, man. It doesn't show up ever. But I hope it does. I showed it's awesome. In 1962, the United States released 1.5 million balloons into Cleveland Lake as a public stunt. It was not a good deal. It, it clogged the land, the waterways of northeast Iowa. It shut down an airport one way, forced the, it even forced the Coast Guard to call off a search party for a man that was drowning. Two men that ended up actually drowning. Like, there's a million balloons on the, and they couldn't see the head bobbing up and down. The f Coast Guard was forced to call off their entire search because of a bunch of freaking balloons. That's retarded. Okay, now we're moving on. Moving on to the next page. The word mortgage, like a mortgage for your house, actually does come from the French word death contract. So, you're just getting your kids in debt there, people. People see you, sometimes, if you're lucky enough. Maybe it's all the time, even people that are really ugly, they think they're really ugly, but people see you 20% more attractive than you think you are, according to one study. So if you think you are like 100% attractive, then dude, you're bouncing off 120, bro, because I don't know, it shows some guy admiring himself in the mirror there. It's quite, it's quite fantastic. I'd show you this picture, but it's quite self-explanatory. Unfaithful men tend to have lower IQs. Shows a guy hugging his girlfriend, and he's holding hands with her friend. Oh, God, I'll show you. It's just so funny. Kind of remem reminds me of my ex-wife, you know. We were fell in love right out of high school. My first love. I can count all the people I've had sex with, you know, since then. Except for like one or two. Pretty much all been her friends. We separated early, though. I just didn't know anybody. <laughs> okay. Okay. The entire county. Oh, if Lynch is a Stein. I'm going to lose some, some uh, people on this one, I know. Or gain. That's the point, right? The entire county of Lynchenstein. Of Lynch. Lynch is a Stein. It's. Oh, my God. Anyway. It can be rented for seventy thousand dollars a day. So if you are if you are rich enough, you can rent out this entire country 
It just looks like a small, probably a small country. How do you pronounce that? It's Lienchent in Intenstein. Lint in Intenstein. <laughs> okay. There you go. Last word of the day. Nike is hoping to release self-lacing shoes just like off Back to the Future 2, which were Nikes. Self-lacing. And, by the way, a little side fact, in Back to the Future 2, the year is 2015. So, maybe we could have some self-lacing shoes. Hollywood was right. And actually, that never happens. Take it easy, everybody. Later.